All right, welcome back to The Quantum Truth with Sherry Ansara, What They Won't Tell You. Switch it up a little bit today. Um, So what we're talking about is the power of words. Wordology is your biology. Can you go into that, that, what I said second, the wordology is your biology? Really curious on what what you mean by that phrase. Well, wordology is your biology and it is a language. Hmm. Within you, you have your own inner language of truth in the quantum. But the language of the duality program say you're not good enough, not deserving. And so that impacts us. I call it the affect, effect, and infect. Ooh, infect. Infect that Ah. you can't do it. You're not smart enough. So I'm going to put a plug in here on purpose. See this book? (laughs) This is called The Intelligence Code. I didn't even write it. 14 of my clients wrote this book, Cassidy. Okay. For, and they're and they're famous or well-known in their genre, whether mm. it was medical or business. And this couple, they wrote quantum sex, quantum relationships. Ooh. And in this book, which is so cool, they wrote, words are powerful. Our bodies know what words ring truth and correct. Learning how to listen to your bodies when you speak instead of allowing your minds to tell the same old duality stories propelled us into a quantum relationship quickly. How about that? A quantum relationship with yourself first and so these are my Sherryisms. This is my <laughs> one of my Sherry. favorite. So we have the victim program running in duality, right? right oh of course. my god, the victim program. Oh, my mother did this. My broken father. Record. Bro- oh my god. So take this in in your quantum truth that how I'm treated is how I give people permission to treat me. Hmm. Okay. Isn't That's that amazing? I haven't, I haven't heard that before. No. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> so remember how I'm treated. You are the eye of that. How you're treated is how you give people permission to treat you. And this is something I say every day. I'm not kidding you. When I get up, I, I wake up before my feet hit the floor and I say, what I say makes my day. And what I say can make or break someone else's day. Mm. That is how power filled and powerful words mm. are, but they can take you down. They can make you less, even in the phrases more or less. Why do we have to be less? Why do why, we have to be more? Yeah, why right. not more? And so when we examine as Neo, non emotional observer, my first tool that I teach in the Anshara method is to listen, and this is what she said, to listen. They both wrote these two chapters together, Hmm. quantum sex, quantum relationships. This is not about how to have sex. This is about a male and a female coming together, pardon the metaphor, (laughs) (laughs) but being really connected. So in language of wordology is your biology, it is the connection. So these are three words that I say in heartness, the essence of my heart, in the connectedness of each of us individually and collectively through allness. Mm. So in the old wordology, they say we're oneness. It's BS. Oneness says we're the same. Right. We're not the same. No, all different. Yes. in the uniqueness. So I call it allness. allness. So the allness of Cassidy and the allness of Sharia and Shara came together. And now look what happened because of the allness and the connectedness right. and the heartness. But if I was thinking, thinking of this, it wouldn't happen. If you were thinking, it wouldn't. So words are just a language of description. Hmm. Now I know you say something. It was it's like realize desire. What what is that yeah. phrase that that really resonated with me? Okay, here are some of my favorites. Wanty, needy. Mm. Oh, I want you to love me. I right. need you to love me. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up any minute. <laughs> that is so low based. Right. So what I teach our action. Wanty, needy has no action. Oh, I want you. <laughs> pathetic, pathetic, <laughs> and so. 
these are the words I teach. It's what you require. It's action. I require and I desire. Yeah. And desire means to sire or to birth your idea or right. your experience, your connection. And no, you deserve it. Deserve means of service to self. That is not selfish. So when the plane's going down, the pilot says, take the oxygen first, and then you can assist others. Right. And another word to dump is help. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't help any Helpy, helpy. Ugh. I'm going to throw up. But assist, I am so happy and thrilled and joyous to assist you. So when you assist yourself, it changes resonance. Mm, and you okay. And you become expansive. And I actually put this out all the time. And I put out, ask me anything. It's not like I know everything, but ask right. me anything. I'm not kidding you. Every day people come up to me and they, strangers, mm -hmm. will say, you know what? There's something about you. Right. <laughs> and then we start talking. I've and had they, that before. And yeah. And they will ask me about this because I'm open and I don't wrong anybody. I don't mm. write anybody and I don't wrong anybody. But what is correct for them? What is correct? Because right or wrong doesn't work. Now, getting into the power of words, and, and I'm not going to go too much down the religion route right here, but I do want to emphasize that words change over time, right? So something that was, we have Latin, we have all the, the Greek and, and all that type of stuff. But if you change a word, don't you change the meaning? So like, for instance, the Bible, for instance, has been changed and modified. We don't even have the original Bible. No. Right? Okay, picture this. Right. Picture this that you are a young scribe. Yeah. And you are in a monastery. Monastery. And there's no Mon electric one. light. And yeah. you're and you and you have to work hard and you gotta work long and you gotta right. do this. So you're in there and you're translating from Aramaic Hebrew. Right. Or it could be in Chinese or Japanese mm -hmm. or and you make one dot difference. Yeah. That's what <gasps> I'm saying. You change the immediate. Yes. And is it meaningful or full of mean? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I see. Got it. it? Yeah, yeah. And so it's been so translated. And you know what? The Aramaic Hebrew, it was mistranslated that money is the root of all evil. Come on, folks. They didn't even have money then. Yeah, right. They traded. They bartered. There was Trade no money. And you know why we have coin? Because some leader would like to put their big fat kisser on yeah, a piece of metal. Yep. Yes. And that became coin. And you know what? You got coined. So that's what <laughs> happened. And so the the words, the language, is it your truth, quantum truth, who you are? Or is it somebody else's idea, label, and language of them? And that is a fact. That is why there's so many. But you, might, you know what my favorite uh, version of the Bible is? What is it? It's King, you know, Henry VIII. Yes. He was so bold that he changed it and put his kisser on that Bible and said, this is the real Bible because I'm Henry VIII. <laughs> right. Now, how crappy is that? And then people just followed up, you know, right. follow the ruler. The ruler followed the measurement. So you measure up to their idea of you instead of measuring who you are without the measurement. Now, now, do you think these words, they have obviously power, not for good or bad, but you can really, uh, you know, like you just mentioned his own Bible, right? Yeah. So that, that draws you into his way of life. And it, doesn't it, that kind of put you in a program? You got it. Mm. Absolutely. That is so brilliant, Cassidy. That is the right. truth. So, so all the, and, and again, um, uh, and again, we don't we don't care if you're, whatever your religion is. This is kind of open dialogue, but it not like everybody going to these different like I'm Lutheran, I'm Catholic. You guys are damning each other almost, being like, "Hey, if you don't go towards my Bible, mine's better than yours." And because of these little things that I've been told, I'm going to get into hell, and you're not. You know, so it's again that duality programming. Yeah, and what about if you're only 144,000? Well, what happens right. to the other million schmucks? Right, exactly. <laughs> Right. I know. And that's a fact. In, in the Lutheran church, and I had this experience because of my mom, mm. uh, when I went off to college, I couldn't go to that Lutheran church because it wasn't the synod that right. my mother came from. A yeah. sin? A synod? How yeah. odd is that sin? Mm. And so, or the same with Catholic. You know, what if you're not reformed or in Jewish, you're reformed or you're this or in the Catholic or any religion, it's not wronging it. But what is correct for you? Right. So wordology is your biology. Let the real language of the quantum you come to the surface and live quantum 
every day. All right, that's all our time for today. Thank you so much for joining us on What They Won't Tell You with Sherry Anchara, The Quantum Truth. See you next time.